Good morning, or whenever you watch us. <clears throat> On today's episode, we're uh, we're gonna be installing a Alamana AC with a Aspen coil and a mobile home furnace. And uh, Tyler gets to go down in the crawl hole, right, Tyler? Yep. What does it look like down there? Not bad. Not bad. So, oh, a few spider webs. Just a little bit. We'll have to get some. Uh, we'll have to get a a broom and get some cotton candy out of there. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you on the other side. And we're uh, this is a Coleman furnace. put the link in the description up here um, I had to come back and adjust the blower settings so yeah we're gonna put the coil down here and then we'll shoot everything down it's one good thing with these mobile home coils everything's facing downwards so you don't have to Just like that. So we gotta take your three eighths brush, hold hold this and clean that out. Okay. Take that and clean your three quarter out. <clears throat> okay. And then you gotta take your paste. I thought we needed these. No, because those are brand new. Oh, okay. Yeah, so then you gotta take your paste and just put a nice coating around that. And make sure you get all of it. That's good. Yeah. So stick that in there. Okay, and then do the same thing to that three eighths one. Okay, and if you see any like boogers or any pieces of that horse hair, make sure you pull them off. It looks like good, so that'll cause it not to, the solder not to stick. All right, then you. So remember. You want to heat here. Side and back. Once the stuff starts melting, then you just go ahead and touch it all the way around. Same thing with this one. Okay. Turn the down. That's good. Keep an eye on that. Here. Too much heat, sorry, you're changing that color. It's getting too much hot, too much heat. 
Can you hit it with the solder? Oh, that's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. I gotta hog this hole out using the spider bit because it's concrete. These spider bits go through pretty much anything. Okay, start shoving it up. Watch your eyes. Huh? Where's the other one? Where's the big one? Can you see the light up no. there? No. Can you see where it is though? Yeah, push it. Twist it. Well, you get this. Is, the big one's got to be pushed over, so kind of tweak it over and then run it straight up. Pull it back down and twist it and towards the truck. Towards the truck. Yeah, the big one. Okay. Now. both of them bring them push them towards the truck there you go now send them up hold on okay hold on okay gotta change this orifice out let's see what size that one is it is a 68, this one is a 59, so that's probably a 3 ton coil, so you always want to put what fixed orifice you have from the unit into your evaporator coil. This is your, this is your metering device. This is uh, what allows the a certain amount of refrigerant to flow back in as liquid. thing buttoned up in here so like I say I gotta still run that piece of PVC through everything mm -hmm. yeah I don't know where how that drain can work well, we're gonna have to I'll figure it out
It's still not up there yet. I think I'm there. Kind of a tight spot here. There we go. piece of two inch but it's nine inches long uh, piece of PVC uh, we got to sleeve this line so that it goes through concrete anytime you go th penetrate through concrete you, you need to sleeve it I don't know if that's just Michigan's cold but if it's not if it's in uh, if it's where you're at leave it in the comment section below I'm just kind of curious I'm gonna probably have to go back in this crawl space and scope out where we're gonna do this drain. I'm gonna probably have to do a spider bit somewhere. Run a piece of three quarter inch PVC up to that trailer drain that they provide you. Questions about okay, push that in. Okay. Once again, for all you southern people, you, you can't use this yoga pipe on heat pumps. I can't stress that enough. Straight cooling. And like I said, this piece has got that little opening on it. And that tells you how far your line set is. Push it in. Watch right here. You can see the line set go in there, and you want to make sure it's all the way in, seated. pump I just changed my oil got fresh oil in it going down good I think we're gonna go I'm gonna let this run for about an hour we're gonna go go to lunch and by the time we get back it'll be all ready to go Got back from lunch about an hour later. We usually take hour lunches. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm a big dummy. I'm a big dummy. Do you see what I just did? I forgot to put in my Athens. And I hooked this all up, went to lunch, and now I'm gonna lose all my. God oh man. I'm mad. That stinks. Wasted all that time. See, I, I make mistakes. Yeah. Well, at least we know we pulled a good vacuum. So, take two. Oh, that stinks. 
Yeah, we were just about done. <laughs> Minus getting them back in the crawl hole and figuring out how we're going to run this drain. Well, let's do it again. Right, Tyler? Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. All right. Now I gotta go and see how I'm gonna connect that down there. All right, back underneath this glorious So what my plan is, there's my pipe, yeah, I always have a plan, I'll try it to anyways, bring this up here, yeah, we got slope, here's our drain for AC, down. Actually, I just did that. That'll be sufficient. And I'll just tape it and call it a day. Oh, this is hard on the neck. 
I almost need my pillow. There's my tape mat. Yeah, anybody else would probably just let this thing drain underneath. That's what they did before, and you couldn't. I couldn't do that. I try to do quality work, so I don't like to do hack, hack work if I can help it. No, it's got some slope. How's it going down there? It's gone. I got it fingered out. All right. I got the spray foam. You got me a spray, the inside of the PC. Um, I can do it. All right. Oh. All right. So this is what I got going on. Comes up there, and uh, I got pitch. I mean, it's not a lot of pitch, but it's enough to get us outside. So, now I'm going to get the hell out of this glorious craw hole and up and running. Nice and quiet. I like the, like the mana. Nice and quiet. Let me know in the comment section below, is that trap correct on you, all you guys down south? I don't do too many crawl spaces. I'm just trying to keep the bugs from getting in there, if that's even possible. Uh, throw it down in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it. So yeah, we're we're up and going. No bubbles. Um, I'm not even gonna throw my gauges on this, Max. We're we're about 12 feet. I think these are rated for 15. I mean, it's kicking out some kicking out some hot air. We're we're good to go. So um, this is a longer line, so I'll definitely be throwing my gauges on and checking charge. Um, all right, guys, you know what to do. If you guys got any uh, information out of this you guys like, smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It will help the channel out. And if you're the one who's smashing that thumbs down, do that twice. That'd be great. Have a good one.